I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode one of Trigun Stampede. Okay, so this, I, I feel like out of everything, um, is my most anticipated anime of this year for, you know, whatever, for right now, right now, yeah, 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 I might change. Um, more or less, because as someone who loved the original a lot, and it's been a hell of a fucking long time since I've seen the damn original, Jesus, um... It's so good. And I was a little skeptical on this one, just as much as I said in the near video. Um, but mainly with this was more like the fangirl in me. Because I was like, okay, it's a new company. It's going to be CGI. I have no problem with CGI. I feel like CGI is, you know, um, in my opinion, slowly but surely, like, it's, it's being popular, more popular. And a lot of more companies want to take a risk with CGI, but of course, like, there's a lot of people who are like, I don't really want that. I'd rather have it in 2D, and I get that because, of course, um, we've all grown up on 2D, and CGI can somewhat make or break of a show, and I've seen good CGI and bad CGI, and when it's bad, oh, it's bad, and it sticks out like a sore thumb, and in almost every video that I've done for some series that I've done in the past, by the and, and like every video, no matter what, I'm always talking about how bad the CGI is. And then by the time I get to the final episode, I will literally talk for like two, three minutes straight on how bad it was. And I was like, why couldn't you be like X, Y, and Z show or X, Y, and Z studio and be like them? Because there's freaking CGI. Ew, it was so nasty. I just spit. Um, their CGI is so much freaking better. So what's the problem? Is it money issue or something? And usually sometimes it is. So I get that. But um, yeah, I'm excited for this regardless. I, I mean, I'm really excited to see a different side of Vash because, I mean, it, here, here's my biggest thing, okay? And I'm hoping this, this, this happens because I need and I want this to happen. Okay, so when I got into this show, so, so many years, long ass time ago when it was on Adult Swim, um... And this had to be like a, at least a couple of years before JYB was in Bleach. And so this was like my, I think this was his a first official anime that he's done. Um, and, it, and I didn't know who he was. I am hoping that he comes back to voice him because I cannot imagine um, anybody new coming in to voice him. Because you know how when you have iconic characters and they're played by iconic seiyus or voice actors and stuff. And you can't imagine somebody else playing that character because when you always think of that character you instantly think of this say you or that voice actor whoever that's what it is for me and so i'm praying to the gods that it happens i mean you know bleach is on break it's on break it's on break so there is no problem you just have to do it i'm just saying you know it would be nice you know it would warm my little wife mm. Eight, nine-year-old heart. Because <laughs> I... <laughs> I don't remember how old I was when I got into the show. Shit. Who freaking knows? But other than that, guys, let's go ahead and get started with episode one. And three, two, one. Okay. Questions. Got questions. You know. Interesting. Like it. Yes.
Nah, shit, y'all about to die. That's a lie. Yeah, I got it. I even have more questions now. Oh, right. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Are we seeing what's her face today? Oh. oh, Meryl, poor baby. He he is not gonna like acknowledge you by your first name. <laughs> oh my god, did y'all stop? <laughs> oh baby, shit. <laughs> While we walk in the oh shit, damn, in the hot ass desert. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! Oh my god. Ain't that him? Yeah. 
Yeah. Right? You know, be nice. Let it off. I know that voice. No, 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 man, I don't know. I mean, damn. Huh? Where? <laughs> That's the water.
Of course. Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm gonna look it up. I swear to God, if I'm fucking right. Oh, nope, I'm wrong. Right. I don't think this is a good idea either, but I mean, it is what it is. We're here. That's the thing. Bash is only gonna do it when he wants to. He doesn't want to do it right now. Um... One shot is not gonna... Uh? You don't have it? Oh my god!
you bitch! Oh my god. Damn. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not surprised that the brother is alive. I mean, it would make the most sense. Because was he alive in the original? See, this makes me want to rewatch the original. And, I'm, and it, it, long ass time. Long ass time, yes. Okay. Um, It's interesting. Very different because trying to remember what happened in the first episode of the original, comparing it to this, it, it's two different things. And it's it's two different series, so it's like you you can compare it to the original, but at the same time, it's like its own distinct, different version to the original, and that's okay. I feel like this is going to um, maybe put like a a line in between people between the original people who like the original and then the newer ones who possibly like me like both and such but it's not bad it's good it's different and i'm not saying that in a bad way i'm saying that in a good way i i think um vasha say you is interesting just the i i know who the freak he is and i've heard him it's something else and it's funny because i'm like mm. i was thinking of one person and i think it still is him but it's not him because the the big the big thing I'm looking for is not on here. The big thing that came up immediately for me was fucking where the fuck is it? Uh, free. He was in free, and he played um, Tori. 
No, oh, no. Okay, no. He plays that in the new dub. Oh, okay, okay. Wrong one. Wrong one. Hold up. Um, mm -hmm. uh, okay, but no, was not expecting that one either. But oh, okay, no, he was in the original too. But I was expecting because it's not him, because his voice sounds very similar to him, especially when I heard it, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's who that is. But no, it's not him. Every, cause, and it's, like I said, cause their voices sound so fucking familiar to me, both of them, and it's always like it, it's very easy to get um, confused between the both of them because they both sound the fucking same. And yeah, no, it's not him, which is fucking nuts because he sounds so much like him that it's not even fucking funny. And, and it's like if you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Kiyoto's voice actor because literally listening to him, that's why I was like. That's him. And then I'm like, no, that's not him. It's a completely different fucking person, but still. But yeah, I mean, I am hoping that, um, let me see. Is it Rem? Was it Rem? No, it's not Rem. Um, so, oh, she's not even in this entire, okay. So then what's her face had to be an anime only character for the original series. There's this one girl I'm looking for, and I thought she would have been in this episode as well because, like, she she's in the first episode of the original series and such. Um, so I'm guessing they, like, they had to write her off completely because they're like, okay, we're going to stay more towards the story. I get that. But, okay, I have questions, and, and, and this is coming from someone who, once again, has not seen the original in a long-ass fucking time. I do not remember his brother straight up so okay of course his brother is the big bad damn uh poor, poor rem oh my god i was not expecting her to die in like the first couple of minutes of the episode but still like why would his brother want this that's the thing so and then what else happened for bash to lose his arm um for him and his brother not to talk there's a lot of unanswered questions about this and, and like i said it makes me want to go back and rewatch the original and then go from there but i think at the same time like i think i'm not going to do that i we're going to look at this as you know brand spanking new that it does compare to the original but it's a brand new entity brand new story you know with a little bit of original anime only content in it but it, it was really good i mean very enjoyable i think our studio orange you know going from season one and season two of Beastars and then hearing about this I know there were a lot of people who were very skeptical because like I said the CGI thing and if you've seen season one and season two of Beastars like you you know how good that is and how gorgeous that anime is I think they had a really really like good action money shots on this like especially you know Anytime when they zoomed in on Bash and like him with the gun, like they knew what they were doing and they were like, yes, we're going to take this and we're going to fucking run with it. And that's what they were literally going to do in every fucking episode. I mean, even with the bomb like exploding with millions of different bombs also exploding as well, looking like fucking fireworks and everything. They know how to do their money shots and they're doing their money shots well. Please don't take me like that. I swear to God, I'm only I'm doing as a certain way. So shut up. Don't uh, don't shut up. Just shut up. Just shut up. Just shut up. Shut up. But yes, Studio Orange knows what to do and knows how to do it. So I do trust them on this process. Yes, there's some things I'm a little weary about. Um, Meryl looks good. I I really think, especially I would have to look at her 2D and then going back to her 3D, but. They're, like I said, they're also good at doing their 3D, like, characters very well. Like I said, Beastars, Season 1, Season 2. I mean, I, like, I think when Season 1 came out, I was very skeptical because I was like, how do you, how can you make, how, like, explain, and, and they made them look good, but I think they, they literally took everything of Season 1 and Season 2 of Beastars, and they were like, well, let me go into this. We, we gotta put our all into this. And, and I feel like for a first episode, they really truly have. There's still some things where I'm like, oof. But yeah, I, I thought it was a very interesting start for how long this series is probably gonna be. I'm guessing at least 12 to 24 episodes. I'm not really sure. But yes, I am excited for this fucking awesome wild of a ride. But other than that, guys, that's my reaction to episode one of Trigun Stampede. 
If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Episode 2. Bye, guys.